welcome to the Daily Decrypt. The currency competition is strong today. I am your host, Amanda B. Johnson, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. Last night, I sent a Bitcoin transaction to place an Amazon order using purse.io, something I have happily done many times. I sent the transaction with the fee amount that my wallet told me was normal, about four cents, and I waited for Purse to tell me that the payment had arrived, like they always have. That was 16 hours ago, and my transaction has not received a single confirmation, and neither have the transactions of up to 30,000 other Bitcoin users as of the recording time of this video. This is because there is a growing mempool of unprocessed Bitcoin transactions, numbering in the tens of thousands and carrying over four Bitcoins worth of fees with them that have yet to be processed. This has prompted even hardcore enthusiasts to make posts online today encouraging others to not use Bitcoin today or any time within the next few days. This is a problem. If Bitcoin were the only cryptocurrency in town, I would say, welp, it's still better than fiat, so I'm sticking with it. But it's not. There are other cryptocurrencies that are not only marginally better than Bitcoin, but are significantly better than Bitcoin. When you think about it, other than having the massive traction that comes along with being the first to the table, Bitcoin is developmentally behind almost all other cryptocurrencies. It has the slowest confirmation times. It has the least clear governance process. Its core development is primarily funded from fiat, not cryptocurrency. Its nodes aren't paid. It has not yet replaced alphanumeric addresses with usernames. It has zero privacy functions at the protocol level. And it offers zero protection against double spends in face-to-face -face retail environments. In other words, Bitcoin may be the least advanced of all cryptocurrencies. And more people are realizing that. In their frustration, some have begun to move their wealth into other cryptocurrencies. But many of these cryptocurrencies are just as weak in the governance department, if not more so. And if they ever gain the massive user base that Bitcoin has, they will likely freeze in their development as well. Networks among people, whether they be digital or physical, require clear governance so that all parties may understand what participation means and what they can expect if they choose to do so. Ironically, or perhaps not, in the decentralization of all of the things, governance is of the highest importance, and there are some good implementations cropping up out there. The currency or currencies with the best governance will win. Today's episode has been brought to you by BitShares, a delegated proof-of-stake currency with an active testnet and incentives for developers. You're also invited to participate in the BitShares liquidity event, which is taking place today, February 29th, which focuses on the trading pair BitUSD and BitBTC. More information can be found about that below, and you can find the desktop wallet at bitshares.org or the web wallet at openledger.info. You really are a lovely audience. Share this video with a friend or downvote it into oblivion on Reddit. Either way, thanks for watching. This life is more than ordinary.